being an entrepreneur can be a very lonely journey and often we are expected to do everything. But thankfully, we have Joe Jensen from Strictly Savvy in the studio to answer your questions. Is it time to get your own virtual assistant? Joe, welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me. So tell me about Strictly Savvy. You're one of New Zealand's largest virtual assistant businesses in the country. Tell me about how it all happened. Yeah, we are. Uh, about nine years ago, I realized that there was business owners who were trying to do everything themselves. And Yes, they're technically great at what they do, but then taking on all of the back office and the admin and the bookkeeping, you know, they had to become that for their business. And so that's where I realized that there was this huge need for business owners to get some resources, um, have some help from people who know what they're doing so that it can free them up to do exactly what they do best so they can delegate the rest. Got that's, it. That's what we do. So uh, virtual assistants have been around for a little while and mm -hmm. many people are familiar with maybe using a virtual assistant overseas. Your, your company, your crew is based here in New Zealand? Yeah, so we have a local team uh, and they have all sorts of skills from bookkeeping, executive assistants and even some creative type services. Wow. How did you actually start this business though? Because it's quite a niche one, isn't it? it? It was very, very new in New Zealand. There was only a few virtual assistants around and really people had no idea or had never heard of the term virtual assistant. Um, and often people might have thought, oh, this must be AI or it must be robots or, you know, <laughs> Siri, something like that. So true. But we're actually real people. Uh, and... I started because I um, didn't want to commute anymore. And, you know, we're in this remote world now. So this was nine years ago. I realized that I wanted to work from home and I wanted to help lots of people uh, do better in their business. And I knew that I had a wide range of skills coming from an executive assistant background um, that I could share now with small to medium business owners. So when people are seeking you out or seeking out Strictly Savvy, what what are the key pain points that they need help with? What are you seeing the most? Overwhelm. Mm. They, they have so much on their plate, they can never get through their to-do list and they are finding that they are doing things that they're just not good at. And that, that takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of headspace and effort and they just sort of spread too thin. Now, uh, to, to really grow your business, you have to get some help. You can't do it alone, <laughs> even though we like to think that we can in or New Zealand. we're expected to. You know, yeah. often we put that expectation on ourselves that we should yeah. be generalists at everything when we come into a business because we have that passion or that drive, mm. right? Yeah. Wow. So you're helping with that and helping people go from overwhelm to? To focus, focusing their time on exactly what they should be doing. That's, you know, uh, bringing in revenue, uh, servicing their clients, coming up with new ideas, that sort of strategic focus mm -hmm. rather than doing the admin. It just doesn't make sense for business owners to be doing that. Look, I, I totally agree. One of the things I've talked to about friends saying, I've said to them, you should use a vi virtual assistant. They said, yeah, but it's going to cost me money. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's an objection you would hear as a business owner, as, as regardless of what business you're in. We all hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. So let's flip that on its head. How do you, as a, as a virtual assistant company, save people money? It's an investment. They, by, by investing in a virtual assistant and getting some help, you know, think about that of like switching you doing that work to you then doing really high value stuff. You know, there's, there's no, it doesn't make sense for you to be doing low level tasks when you can really, um, you know, throw your time into mm. some great revenue generating activities and increasing that profit in your business. So how, how it makes sense financially is that you've got to think of it like an investment. So you're investing in a virtual assistant so that you can grow your business. Mm. And by sh essentially sharing a virtual assistant across, um, you know, with other business owners, so one virtual assistant can be looking after, you know, seven to nine clients. So you're essentially sharing a resource, but you still get full-time access. So it feels wow. like you have a full-time person but you're only actually paying for 100% focused, dedicated time on the task. Genius. You think you know you think of like uh, employees. You've got to pay them for all their breaks, um, going to the bathroom, having chats, water cooler conversations. Now all of that time, that dead time, is stripped away 
because it's 100% focused on the task at hand with I'm the virtual sold. system. I need one. I've, just, I've already decided. <laughs> Everyone needs Everyone one. Everyone needs one. I totally agree. <laughs> so for you, um, one of the things I've noticed with your company is that you've done some really clever things to uniquely position yourself in a very competitive market. Mm -hmm. So your podcast is a great mm -hmm. example. So tell me a little bit on how what you've done to help get your, your own business out there. Yeah, it's all about being seen online and having a really consistent online presence. So in the beginning, we did a lot of face-to-face um, -face networking and really got to know the local business owners in our region. Um, but we, we're wider than that. We have uh, clients all over the country and, and some even overseas. So what that's about is having a really great online presence and having it nice and consisting, consistent, having great branding and just showing up online. So we do a lot of video content. We answer a lot of questions in our Savvy Sessions series on YouTube. Uh, and then we've just started another one, which is Get Savvy with Tisha and Joe. And so this is our way of showcasing our knowledge online um, and positioning ourselves as that leader. I to totally love it. I have listened. I've watched your video <laughs> content. You're doing a great job. And, you know, this show is for business owners and entrepreneurs, not just to promote businesses. Obviously, that's going to happen. Mm. But to really showcase that knowledge or that expertise from the business owners themselves, from, from that business owner to anybody who might be watching, which which leads me into the next question. You know, one of the thing, or the things I love about the show is knowledge sharing. Mm. So, for you as a business owner, if you could impart three big tips that you would want every other business owner to consider when they're on their own business or entrepreneurial journey, what would you want them to know? Yeah, I think the first one. I love um, what Catherine says about delegate to elevate. That is so true and if if you just think about your time as a really precious resource and focus it where it should be and then delegate the other things, that's really going to elevate your business. So I love that um, and totally agree. Um, another one is that visibility, that like show up, um, be seen, don't hide behind email, like actually pick up the phone, talk to people, get on video, get online um, and really, you know, people say to me, oh, but I don't know what to talk about. It's like, okay, simplify it right down to what are the questions that you get asked most regularly when you're having a sales conversation or just chatting to someone about what you do. What do they ask? Just answer those questions. So I really love that. Uh, the other one is to streamline and automate whatever you can in your business. And if you're hiring a virtual assistant, this should be one of the things that you talk to them about. And what can we streamline? What can we get really working well and like process and systemize everything in the business so that you're just this great engine? Perfect. I absolutely love it. Some really sound advice there, Joe. Thank you so much for sharing that. I am immensely grateful. And a few tips taken away by myself today that I'm definitely yeah. going to put into <laughs> uh, my realm of consideration. So thank you. Now, if you want to get in touch with Joe now is your opportunity. You can reach out to Joe and talk to the team at Strictly Savvy by starting the conversation over on her website, strictlysavvy.co.nz. All you need to do is click the I'm ready button and your journey has begun.